Hi, I'm Jamie Wall with the Entertainment News for Thursday. Today we'll focus in on some of the dance and theater now showing at the Olympic Arts Festival. But first, here's our trivia question. What Canadian singer performed in the rodeo until he was seriously injured at the age of 19? In keeping with our great Canadian obsession with winter sports, Lunchbox Theatre has come up with an Olympic Arts Festival production that is a series of skits and songs about activities from ice fishing to ice hockey. What? Oh, open your eyes, ref. The kid was just defending himself. Face both of them. You stupid jerk. We want a ref. We want a ref. We want a ref. Lunchbox's artistic director, Bart Lee Bard, who's never played hockey himself, got some help in setting up the hockey skit from actor Dan Libman. There's one member of the cast who is totally obsessed with hockey, it seems, and uh, uh, he, was, he was having to explain to the others on stage, who are not big hockey fans either, uh, exactly what was going on when they were supposedly uh, parents watching their children playing hockey. And... Uh, he determined where they would be looking, what would be happening, according to the, uh, to the script. All the scenes were written by different Canadian playwrights and composers. They've captured the humor in how Canadians make the best out of winter with our sports. And the theme is perfect for the Olympic Arts Festival. The talent of the host country is on Monday through Saturday at lunchtime till the end of the games. The Judith Marcuse Dance Company of Vancouver were hard at work this afternoon preparing to debut tonight at the Olympic Modern Dance Commissions. This piece was one of six modern dance numbers commissioned by the Olympic Arts Festival. They were chosen from over 60 applicants. Choreographer Judith Marcuse explains her work. It's uh, basically about revitalization. It's called moving past neutral. So it's about getting going, you know, getting going again. And I hope it's a, it's, it's a light piece, it's an up piece, and it's um, quite um, virtuosic uh, technically. It's, it's a very dancey piece. All of the modern dance commissions will be shown in two different shows over the next three days at the Martha Cohen Theatre. The Olympic Arts Festival only started six days ago, but from the events I've already attended, I have to tell you, the whole festival is an amazing event. There are close to 300 special events and performances in all, and the caliber is absolutely world class. This is the largest arts festival that's ever been done in connection with a Winter Olympics, and it's all ours to enjoy. If you get a chance, don't miss it. In trivia today, the question was, what Canadian singer performed in the rodeo in his younger days? The answer is Ian Tyson. Rodeo's loss was the music world's gain. Ian will be performing at the Jubilee on February 12th as part of the Olympic Eve Gala. For the Entertainment Report, I'm Jamie Wall.